you know, I'm somebody, and I'm sure many people do, I, I suffer from this uh, this notion of imposter syndrome, which you That's a big change. You went from accidental landlord of a house that you owned, so you knew everything about it because you'd lived there, to now you got two duplexes and it was kind of a, a distressed type sale, right? Yeah. Yeah. We had to re- go in and redo almost everything on both properties. Rents were really low. So we got to bump those up, you know, really good upside on them and everything else like that. But it was honestly, it was, it was gratifying. You know, I'm somebody, and I'm sure many people do, I, I suffer from this, uh, this notion of imposter syndrome, which if you don't know what that is, it's like, you know, someone's going to figure me out one day, like my success isn't real. Like, you know, it, it's all luck or whatever. So buying those properties for me was some level of proof for me internally, from my mind that, wow, when I set my mind to something, I can achieve it. Uh, and we did, we bought them. We successfully uh, refinanced out of them about a year and a half later. And um, uh, we still own them to this day. So no, that was, that was gratifying. I would say when, when it happened. <laughs> 